What's good guys, Sim Football Critic here with a very quick video here for you. And most of you guys know I'm down at EA Sports right now, you know, getting some work in on Madden. And you know, I'll go ahead and say this guys, you know, please hold your questions. You know, I won't be able to answer a lot of things. Of course, a lot of stuff is under NDA. Now, best believe I will be able to share any information I'm able to share. Believe that. So anything I can talk about, I will talk about it. You know, whether that's Twitter or whether I do a video about it. So, you know, please just keep in mind, if I'm not saying anything about something, it's because I can't. Anything I'm giving green light to talk about, I will. But I wanted to bring this video to you guys, you know, definitely wanted to try to keep the channel active as best I can, you know, as I'm down here. And I want to show you something here in NCAA. Now, this is one of the best AI moments that I've seen so far. And the reason why I want to highlight this is this is something that I've talked about here on my channel as well on, as on the Sim Standard channel. It's all about consistency. You know, how efficient will things play out? How efficient will the games be? And we all understand no game is perfect. Definitely not. But, you know, my standard that I try to set is I'll say 70 to 75 percent. You know, some people might say that's a little low. But I would say a solid 70 to 75% of the time, I want a game, a video game, to play the way it's supposed to. You know, of course, I have higher expectations. That number can be a little higher. But, you know, if you're at least getting that 70 to 75%, you know, is playing the way it's supposed to, then, you know, pretty much you could basically say that's a pretty decent game, you know, regardless of how good the game is overall. But anyway, you know, things like this, I want to see these types of things happen more often. As you're going to see, we're going to run in here one more time. But look at how this guy plays this. You know, plays pretty solid defense here. You know, you're going to see when we go back to him, he's playing his zone. You know, he picks up his first read and that guy runs out of his zone area. And then he realizes there's another guy that poses more of a threat that's going out to his area. And he jumps that guy keeps his eye on the ball, and makes a great swat attempt. And what's great about that, in my opinion, is it's not a normal animation that I see a lot. The receiver and him, they're not sharing the same animation, as well as he continues to follow the ball. As you see that funny <laughs> funniness happen here, right there with that lineman. See what I'm saying? You know, there, there's definitely flaws in this game. Let's not kid ourselves. But... You know, I have to acknowledge as well the good things because this is what we want out of a football product. You know, whether it's this gen and definitely going into next gen, we want realistic things to occur. And things like this, in my opinion, this is a realistic way to play defense here. This is what we need. This is what we're pushing for for next gen as well. It's all about the consistency. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. Don't forget, guys, every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, the Sim Perspective Radio Show, the show for the Sim Gamer. Give us a call at 347-202-0388.